What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you some tips and tricks with this right here, your Mercedes-Benz key. first trick is the most important one I think and that is disabling keyless entry and what that means is when you lock your car it completely disables keyless entry it shuts the key down so that people can't access the key in your home using a device which basically boosts the signal to steal your car in a few minutes with basically just a computer so you can lock the car normally by pressing the lock button here like so I'll just unlock it to show you again but if you tap this button here twice then the device will have a slight red beep in it, um, well, red light, and all it will do is it will completely disable the key as I explained. So I'll just show you now. So um, if I hold it up, so you can't see it in the sunlight, but there's a little red light here in flashes, but basically all you need to do is just double tap the lock, double tap the lock button and the car will be completely locked, the key will be shut off. Now, one very important thing is to make sure that you go into your house with your spare key and you do the same with that first because this is key specific. So you could have your key deactivated and then there could be a spare key in your house somewhere that's activated and they could end up actually using the signal from that key to steal your car. So first tip, really, really handy one. Every Mercedes owner should know this. So the second tip is opening all the windows using the unlock key without touching your car. This is quite a common one. A lot of you probably know this by now because so many people have made YouTube videos on it, but it's a really cool feature and I wanted to include it. So if you just press and hold the unlock button, you'll see all the windows in the car will come down. Now this is just a saloon, but if you have a convertible, it will actually bring the soft top down. And if you have the sunroof, it will also open and close the sunroof too. When you're done, you just do the same thing, except this time you hold down the lock button And as you can see, everything's gone back up. Very cool, very handy. Okay, so the next cool feature I wanna show you guys is unlocking the driver's side door while keeping the passenger door locked. Now, there's a few reasons you wanna do this. You may wanna be playing a prank on your wife or, <laughs> or your friends, or you might just wanna have the security of knowing that passenger door is locked when you're getting into yours unlocked. I mean, if you're in a dodgy area, you know, someone might wanna jump in the car and try and steal it, who knows? But I'm gonna show you how it works. It's pretty cool, it's very easy to do, and it's also very reversible and manageable. All you need to do is go to the driver's side door, hold your key up against it like so, hold down both the lock and unlock button. Then you'll see a little red light flash at the top like that. It takes 10 seconds, then you've done it. Now, when you unlock the car, it will only unlock the driver's side door. The passenger side remains locked, unless you press the unlock button twice, then it unlocks both. So really, this is quite a nice setting to have on all the time. However, if you want to deactivate it, all you do is the same thing. You just hold the lock and unlock button for 10 seconds until the red light flashes. And there you have it, it's back to normal. What a cool trick. Next one to show you guys is the skeleton key. Now what's a skeleton key? A skeleton key is a hard original key that you can use to hard unlock certain aspects of the car the old fashioned way. Um, I used to own Audis and they used to come with this gnarly little, I think it was almost plastic skeleton key, but Mercedes are a little bit more sophisticated and I'll show you where the key is. So if you look at the key right here, there's actually a hidden key in here. So there's a little button here. If you press down on that button and pull, here you have it, your skeleton key. Now what you can do, if you say for example, your battery runs out and you need to get into your car, you can use this to get in. But how do you get in? Because there's no key lock. Well, if we go up closer, I'll show you where the key is. Okay, so under here, now I've got the camera nice and low, you can see the keyhole is actually here. So this key fits into here and you can use it to unlock the car, really, really handy. Obviously, key is very unique to the car. Um, and then when you're finished, it just slips straight back into here. Very, very cool. You have to get the angle right. I probably got it wrong because I'm not looking, but yeah, really cool feature. So 
So the last tip isn't really necessarily a tip or trick per se, but it's very important. And it's just really about where you guys store your key in your house. Um, obviously keyless theft is an issue. Um, we talked earlier about deactivating the key entirely, but sometimes you know you can go that extra level of protection safety um, and you can think about where you store your key. I mean, some people say put your key in the fridge because all the metal blocks the signal, which is true. Um, and you could hide it somewhere in your house in case someone breaks in, but then you've kind of got the dilemma of whether or not you keep keep it somewhere hidden and someone might tear up your whole house to get your car because if they want your car then they're going to get it um, so you might even want to leave it in the open depends on how good your insurance is um, but really there's lots of options here and another really good option is a faraway pouch i think i'm pronouncing that correctly um, i made a whole video about this and i'll link it in the description up there but basically it's a little pouch it's kind of got a tin lining kind of a metal foil lining and you pop your key in it and it completely blocks the signal i mean we tested it we uh we, I've got a video where we put the key in the pouch, we put the key in the car in the pouch, and the car just would not detect the key. So the Faro pouches are a really good option. Um, it's also quite nice, you know, you get this little leather pouch and you can pop your key in it, you always know where it is. Um, but really, I just wanted to discuss where you put your key, because I think it's really important. So there you have it, guys. That is my five tricks with the key. Very cool key. I think it looks pretty cool as well. Just to say though as well, these tricks all work with the old Mercedes key if you have a relatively modern Mercedes. So don't feel like you can't test these out on your older key. This is obviously a 2019 C43 AMG. If you know my channel, then you know this car really well. We have tons of fun with the car. So yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you found it helpful and you learned some new tricks with your key. And uh, if you did like the video, please hit that thumbs up because it really helps me and the channel out. And of course, if you want to see more great content on this car and other fun videos, then please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.